Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's unboxing. As you can see, it's a big box here. And for today's unboxing, it's a little bit different because this is my first collaboration with Portland Leather. Some of you know that I love Portland Leather and I have been buying a lot of their products. The other day, when I logged into my account and I saw how much I spent buying Portland Leather goods, I was kind of shocked. <laughs> but no regret because I think a lot of time people say you buy a lot of bags and they just sit there. But for me, sometimes when I feel moody, I would sit down and go through my bags and condition them and appreciate how good the leather are. I don't know, the touch of leather and the smell of the leather just very comforting for me. So other than being bags, they are also kind of a meditative tool for me. So when I was invited to do a collaboration with Portland Leather, I was kind of surprised because my channel is not a huge channel. I basically like nobody on social media. So I really appreciate their invitation and also because many of you have provided good feedback and they probably saw that. Before I proceed, I want to mention that they didn't ask to screen my video before I publish. So I do able to still review the product honestly instead of have to say certain things like some company do. This is important to me because in a way, I'm a control freak, so I don't really like that when companies try to control my content. I like to be able to say whatever I want. Before I rambling for too long, I think let's open up the box and see what came today. Whew, it's a big box. First is a thank you card. So when you order from them, you will get a thank you card in the box. So this is how it looks inside the box. The bag is wrapped in tissue paper. And more tissue paper at the bottom to protect the bag. Wow! Wow, I'm speechless. First impression, it looks much better than I expected. In case you are not aware, Portland Leather started to make canvas bags as well. And this is one of it. This is their canvas duffel bag. Let me look through it before I tell you more about this bag. First, let's talk about the size. I'm not going to give you the number because the measurement is on their website. But looking at this, Definitely enough for like a weekend trip or overnight trip. Recently, I started to do road trip. I need a bigger bag for my trip. I have tried other bags, but some of them are too small. So when they invited me to do a collaboration, the first thing popped in my mind is I want their duffel bag because I want something I can really use so that I can tell you how good, how bad, and the wear and tear. The reason I want this duffel bag for my road trip because I don't want to pack in a smaller bag. That way, I have to carry multiple bags instead of just one bag enough to put all my stuff in. And I thought this is also an opportunity for me to compare sizes. So here is a duffel. Here is their roll top backpack. This is definitely one of my favorite bags from Portland Leather. If you unroll it more, you can actually fill up quite a bit. So if you want to compare sizes to see which one fit you better, if you want a smaller bag for your trip, this one is great. And if you need something bigger, I would choose the duffel. And also, this is their OS oversized tote. This is the size comparison. I know that their oversized tote probably is too big for somebody, but for me, I could even use it for my daily bag. Let's try out the zipper. Sometimes when I buy a new bag, the zipper is not that smooth. But this one, it just works perfect. The reason I wanted this duffel for my trip because I probably won't fill up all my stuff in this big bag. But I love that when I have extra space in my bag so that I can buy stuff when I travel if I see something I like. I remember once when I was in Seattle or Portland, I ended up buying a wool blanket. So I definitely need more room for my bag. For example, when I was in Japan, when I went there, my luggage was around 30 pounds. And then when I came back, it was right at 50 pounds. So I did buy a lot of stuff when I travel. Hopefully, they are useful stuff. So this would be great when I travel around the country. 
Before we look into this bag, I want to mention that because of this collaboration, they did give me an affiliate link that you can use. When you purchase through this affiliate link, they will give me a small percentage of the commission, but it doesn't cost you more. Personally, I don't think I'll make a bunch of money through affiliate link, but I think this is a good way for them to know that people are actually watching my video. So I appreciate if you could purchase through the link so that they have a data to see that somebody actually watching my video and I really appreciate that. Now let's get to the bag. First is the handle of the bag. It's a padded handle, so it feels pretty comfortable holding just like that. So the handles has this button cover that you can snap together so that both handles will stay in place. Wow, the handle even stand up on its own. I love that. Sometimes when handles are flopping around, it can be challenging when you travel. And on the side of the duffel, looks like they have these leather strips that go down to reinforce to strengthen the bag. And then, it has this clasp that you can attach to the D-ring. I like that. When you attach it like that, you won't see the corner of the bag like flare out. So it will keep it in place. But in case you need more space, you can loosen it up and fill it, stuff it, push it, so that you can maximize the storage. When I look at the picture on the website, I thought this bag only comes with one pocket, but it actually both sides has a pocket. This is a great size for your phone or for your receipt, for anything small that you want to just temporarily put outside. And at the bottom, this canvas duffel is covered with leather. So it will be durable because I believe this is their nutmeg leather. I believe this is also a nutmeg leather from Portland leather. And as you can see here, it still holds up really well. And it starts to darken a little bit with the patina. I use this quite a lot and I'm surprised to see that this bag still kind of look like new. Before I open up the bag, I want to show you the zipper has a zipper pull leather. Zipper pull is really cute. And it kind of have the loop. I feel like if you want to attach a tassel you can you can attach a tassel or decorative back charm you can attach it here I found the shoulder strap that come with this bag it is a pretty long shoulder strap and it's all leather let's attach it on the side it does have a d-ring to attach this shoulder strap this hardware is solid Really solid hardware. I guess when you have a big bag like that, you do need a better hardware to handle the weight. So on the shoulder strap or crossbody strap, you see a lot of adjustment holes for you to adjust the length you need. And since this is a full grain leather, you can easily just punch extra holes if you need to. But I think this would be enough for me though. I'll try it on later and let you know. And then the strap also comes with this leather loop so that the extra length is not flopping around when you're walking through the airport or when you travel. I like the tightness of this loop. It is perfect to hold the strap without getting too tight or too loose. That way the extra strap is held in place. Pretty good. Because this shoulder strap is not the widest shoulder strap, they included this shoulder pad so that when you carry this, it will be comfortable. Looks like it is a double layer because both sides you can see the pebble leather texture. Inside the bag is just a big space, so you can organize it however you want. I'm sure this canvas bag will hold up well and be durable because if you look inside the bag, the seam is covered with webbing. They have double stitches go through the seam to reinforce and to strengthen the bag. For this duffel bag, the leather part is also made with their full grain leather. So it will be as durable as the full grain leather bag that you are familiar with. For the color option, other than this brown, they also come with navy and coal color, kind of like black color. So for these three colors, the canvas has light wax finish. Because of that, your canvas will be more dirt and water resistant. So when it rains, the water won't just directly seep through really fast into your bag. If you don't like the texture or the feel of wax canvas, you can also choose the gray one. That one, it doesn't have a wax finish, so it will be softer. Personally, I love a wax canvas bag because I don't have to check weather when I travel. You know, sometimes when you travel, you cannot predict the weather 
and sometimes it just rain a little and you don't have to just run like crazy people. The wax finish on this canvas duffel is not the heavier one. If you live somewhere with a lot of rain, you do want to apply thicker coats of the wax. But other than that, for normal travel, this would be enough. And I love that the feel of the canvas is not too stiff. It's pretty soft. It's pretty comfortable. And I like that when you don't have a lot of stuff, you kind of can squeeze it together to get a kind of a slimmer profile. Just trying to get a different look with this bag. <laughs> now I'm going to put on the duffel to show you how it looks on my body. To give you a sense of the length of this shoulder strap. I have it on the shorter setting. So if you need the strap to be shorter, you can punch more holes to adjust it accordingly. Otherwise, if you have a bigger body frame and you need a longer strap, this one can definitely accommodate you. So this is on the shorter setting. I'm 5'9", and this is how it looks. If you don't like to wear it crossbody, you can wear it as a shoulder bag as well. This is how it looks. As you can see here, the handle is in this perfect position that easily for you to grab and go. Giving you a closer look. This is such a gorgeous duffel bag. I'm so in love with this bag. I'm sure I will enjoy it when I travel. And when I go on road trip, I'll take video to show how I use this bag. And here to show you the shoulder pad on the strap, how it looks. I love that the whole shoulder pad is made with leather. It feels really squishy and comfortable. I'm really glad that I picked this one because I'm really curious about their canvas quality. So far, my first impression is the canvas is durable but not overly thick. So in a way that you feel like it's not going to break but also not going to be too heavy as well. So far, I love the design, the color, the quality, the material. And I'm really honored to be invited to participate in their collaboration program. So for whoever that's going to use my affiliate link to purchase, I really appreciate that because in a way, I really try and want to produce better quality content. Before I end this video, I want to say that if you have been buying their leather bag, don't forget their canvas bag because the quality is as good as their leather bag. And I love the new design. It's more refined, more modern. Look at how pretty this bag is. Summer is coming. It's time to buy a bigger duffel bag for your road trip for any travel that you are doing. Thanks for watching this unboxing and this first impression review. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.